thing hasn't rained in a long time. It's running now. This is the beginning of a couple of series where it's going to be me and somebody else working on videos. I may try to see if somebody else, two other people might do videos, especially in this time where a lot of us are stuck inside, we're not going out, we're not socializing as much and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people are doing sort of teleconferencing type shit and those kind of things. And so I think a lot of us are sitting around in the garage and we can work stuff out this way through video. And so I'd like to get more people to work together, um, sort of videos together, like co-working, co-videos, if you will. All right. I actually rode the Met Rock tonight. This is going to be a quick video. It might not be in sync with the videos I release of actually building it. Um, this will be in the um, hit record uh, series or whatever. We'll just kind of do some quick things. I'm um, just going to use my phone or whatever. Um, the current first problem that I have that I can't figure out is what to do with under cowl on the... Uh, on the ruckus frame. Um, so I want to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to flip it around and, and point it out. Okay, one sec. All right, so first of all, I just put the stuff into a bag so I could ride it last night. Not going to stay like that. Um, down here on the frame, you can see this bracket. Okay, and this bracket looks like it goes in between here and here, right? Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it extends out like that. Um, and I, like I said, I think it goes in there. And when I walked over to the Met frame last night, mind you, it might not have been paying super good attention, but it looks like there's, is there room there? Maybe not. Oh, you know what? There's these extensions right here. So there's actually room. Yeah, and they're they're there too. So there's there's room to make space for that. But my conundrum here is that there's not the same amount of room there. So I don't know if I would have to space it out um, because I don't feel like this metal is gonna be strong enough to, um, I don't feel like this metal is gonna be strong enough to hold between there and without f the frame flexing because that actually has like hard frame metal that's gonna be like lifting it up and that, so that's what's gonna make it solid but that's just, that's a much cheaper metal and I don't want to depend on that between the frame. It'd be like putting like a thick rubber washer or something in there, you know what I'm saying? And with like, mm -mm. so right. yeah. So I will actually probably hit up Adam. Okay, so this is a 2005. I'm not sure what year yours is, but I'm gonna show you on this one and yours should be similar. I think you have it a little wrong where you wanna, where you think those brackets go because you should have a bolt on either side at the back here. You take that bolt off, and there's the bracket. That bracket goes underneath of the rear frame. So it doesn't go in between here. It goes underneath. The difference is you have a bolt already built onto the ruckus rear frame. There's one welded onto the ruckus rear frame. So you don't need that bolt. So you have to uh, basically put this up tight to the uh, ruckus rear frame as you're tightening it down so that there's no gap in between this piece and that piece. So that the threads straight through the ruckus rear frame bolt into this rear frame, into this bolt, and I'll tie them both together. And then you'll be able to uh, screw it right into there. And then that should be able to, you should be able to screw her right in. So I hope that helps, man. Right on, man. Yeah, it, uh, when I got the bike, it was already a part at that part. So I guess I'll have to finagle it. I know you said in Messenger that uh, you didn't even run the under cowl. Um, 
So maybe I'll look at that option or I'll try to figure something else out because I don't think it's going to make it with the, um, on the ruck frame, the way it's built, I don't think it'll slide up in there, but I'll take another look tonight. Um, for all of you guys, uh, I will get back to this and in the next uh, video on this, um, the um, hit record series uh, for the Met Ruck and uh, try to let you, show you what I do with that issue or whatever. Um, I'm gonna turn it over back to Adam for a second to maybe uh, tell about what he's doing on his channel. I know he's building up uh, a Met again. Um, not the Met Ruck, but he's got some great old videos on the Met Ruck. Uh, and I will put a link to his channel in below. Um, I gotta go to work because I'm essential or expendable. And so anyways, um, over to Adam. All right, Chris, thanks buddy, I appreciate it. How you doing people? How's it going? Um, if you guys have seen my channel, most of the time you see me behind the scenes. Most of the time you just see arms. You don't see me. Um, I, I know it's a shame you don't get to see this all the time, but um, most of the time I just wear a chest rig and I have a rig that I put on my hat to uh, give you guys a couple of different views. I have been slacking on my channel, but with this whole Corona shit, I have extra time now because I'm off. Um, if you hear me breathing funny, I apologize because my doctors think I have Corona. But I'm, I'm fine. No need to stress. Um, you know, I'll need a good die young. I'm going to live forever. I've been like this for about two weeks now. It's not getting worse, so I think I'm good. Um, but anyway, you know, that's that whole essential expendable thing that Chris was just talking about. I was an essential employee, but anyway, let me get off, off of that right now. Um, I do have a Met that I'm building. It was my wife's. I bought it for her about two and a half years ago. And she rode it twice, up and down the street twice. That was it. Maybe two minutes of ride time on this thing. I ripped it apart. I rebuilt it for her. The color she wanted, everything. She still never wrote it. So uh, last week I paid her $175 just so I could buy it off of her so she could stop saying it's hers. So now it's mine, officially. I mean, it already is on the title, but officially it's mine. And I'm going to be building it. So um, I guess if you follow my channel, you can come along on a ride. Um, I also have a GY6 Ruckus that uh, I ripped apart. I, I got it. I built it. Wouldn't run right, I ripped it apart. And I have to either put a stock head back on it or a 171, I still, I'm, I'm undecided on that. So probably just gonna be a stock head, um, the 150. Um, so yeah, I have some stuff coming up on my channel. So if you guys wanna hang out and you know take a look, I'd appreciate it. So for now, I guess I'll, uh, I'll flip this camera around and um, you guys can see the shit shed. It is a shit shed, it's not a she shed, a he shed. He said, she said, she sells, she shores, whatever the, <laughs> whatever the hell you want to say. It's my shit shed because most of the time there's so much shit in here I can barely walk. So this is my shit shed. Okay, so uh, there's what's left of the Metropolitan. And I will provide Chris a picture of what it looked like before I ripped it apart. Uh, this is the ruckus, what's left of it. Um, it's mostly there. But uh motor's just hanging out up there. So uh, eventually I'll get to that, put that back together. And if we come out here, this is, uh, I did a little video on this a little while ago. Um, actually, it's getting edited now. And um, so we'll see. When we come out here, and here is the current state of the Metropolitan. That's what it looks like as of now. It'll get put back together. Thanks for the spotlight there, Chris. Back to you, buddy. Hey guys, um, one more quick thing. I really wanna explain again, maybe it's come through, maybe it hasn't, but I wanna explain the whole uh, hit record idea. Um, I mean, it started off a little bit as a joke between me and Vong, but really it's become an idea of like, just hit record. Don't worry about so much stuff like, I really want you guys to make videos, work with somebody else, and not overthink it so much. There's a lot of easy ways you can do, and just do something quick and simple. Don't don't make it so long that it complicates you, but do anything. Just hit record. Do work with somebody else. Go ahead and hashtag it, you know, like COVIDio2020, and let's, uh, you know, let's do something other than just sit around by ourselves. All right, guys? All right. Later.